everybody. This is the Almost Daily Devotion for Friday, uh, May the 8th. Super bright out here, about midday uh, on Thursday. So Jesus says on the, uh, in the 10th chapter, uh, beginning with verse 14 of John, I am the good shepherd, I know my own, and my own know me. Just as the Father knows me, I know the Father. I lay down my life for the sheep. So when uh, the first time that I heard the term spirit animal was when I was, I heard it from a fellow divinity uh, student at Virginia Theological Seminary who asked me with complete seriousness if I'd yet discovered my spirit animal because that was going to be important for my formation as a clergy person. Such is the terrain of the Episcopal Church, I guess. Um, so since then, I guess I've chosen the red-winged blackbird. Uh, but, you know, most people, when asked about their spirit animal, will say something like a lion, or they'll say a stallion, or a bald eagle. Uh, one animal that um, nobody ever chooses to be their spirit animal is a sheep. A sheep. Because <laughs> uh, sheep are not intelligent, they're not independent, you know, they're, they're not imaginative. Uh, they're pretty easily led as, astray. Well, Jesus has chosen your spirit animal for you, mine too, and also the rest of the world's spirit animal, and that's a sheep. Uh, that's what he calls us. He's the shepherd, and we're the sheep. Now, there's some good news about this, because being a sheep disabuses you of your very unrealistic expectations of yourself to always be the alpha animal. And it's also good for the people around you when you remember their sheep too, perhaps you can be relieved of your high expectations of them to behave a certain way. Sheep need a shepherd, and they need a good shepherd. And that's exactly what we have, is a good shepherd. And he has proven it, this good shepherd, by, as he says, laying down his life for us, the sheep. So the prayer I'm going to pray is from this past Sunday, for Sunday of Easter. O oh God, whose son is the good shepherd of your people, Grant that when we hear his voice, we may know him who calls us each by name and follow where he leads, who, with you and the Holy Spirit, lives and reigns, one God forever and ever. Amen. See you tomorrow.